Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Earth Juice. Coming up this week, endless mathematical debate, manatees with sensory hair, saltwater crocs on the rise, and why don't penguins fly? The concept of infinity is a hard one for most of us to get our heads around at the best of times, and even mathematicians struggle to agree on its size, calculation, and whether it even exists at all. So a debate was recently held at the World Science Fair in New York to discuss its infinite concepts. In the 1870s, a German mathematician called Georg Cantor pioneered works that became known as the Continuum Hypotheses and Set Theory, and he also began to wonder whether there might in fact be different types of infinity. At the festival, William Hugh Woodin, a mathematician at the University of California, Berkeley, explained that fully understanding questions relating to infinities still lies well beyond established mathematical theories. A set theorist himself, Woodin has spent his life trying to unravel these mysteries, yet neither he nor other mathematicians have been able to prove or disprove Cantor's musings on multiple infinities. Woodin added that it's kind of like mathematics lives on a stable island, then there's a wild land out there. That's infinity. So after all that discussion, it looks like we're no closer to understanding the true meaning of infinity, and the debate goes on. Manatees have poor eyesight and are not able to echolocate like many other marine mammals, yet they are surprisingly adept at navigating through murky environments using their sense of touch. Joe Gaspard from the Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium in Sarasota, Florida, explained that not enough is known about how these animals find their way around, so he set out to explore just how sensitive this sense of touch is. Reporting his findings in the Journal of Comparative Physiology, Gaspard explained that the manatee's facial hair act just like whiskers, revealing that they can detect movements of just 0.9 nanometers. That's less than a billionth of a meter. These incredible facial hairs are probably their primary sensory system, making them expert navigators and unique in the mammalian world. Here at Earth Unplugged, we love beards, so much so that Wheezy Waiter and I got together and made a video all about them. There's a link in the description below as well. And subscribe to the channel because there are plenty more beards coming your way. Australia's saltwater crocodiles were once hunted so severely that their numbers decreased by 95%. But since they became protected in 1971, the population has reached a potentially dangerous level. According to the Northern Territory Parks and Wildlife Commission, there are now around 50,000 salties in Queensland and around 80,000 in the Northern Territory itself. With no natural predators, the crocs are thriving. But as with any booming population, space is becoming a premium and the crocs are moving closer and closer to humans, sadly, with the odd fatality. However, most victims of attacks are not tourists failing to heed the warning signs, but locals who for years have swum in waterholes that are now strictly off limits due to the continued spread of the crocodiles. So please be careful. And finally, scientists from the University of Manitoba in Canada have shed light on why penguins can't fly. Biologists have often wondered how and why the birds lost the ability to fly, and the popular theory is that their once flight-capable wings simply became more energy and physically efficient for long periods of swimming, as the penguins evolved to dive and to forage underwater. This new research looked into energy costs in living birds, and it supports that conclusion, stating that form constrains function in wild animals, and that for movement in one medium, there's got to be a trade-off in another. So that's this week's juice. If, like me, you struggle to really understand the concept of infinity, Numberphile have made an incredible video on that very subject. The link's in the description below. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next week. The numbers go on forever. But I'm going to tell you one of the more surprising facts about infinity. There are different kinds of infinity.